Hi, it's Jill Hutchison coming to you from Scarborough Beach, Western Australia. And it's pretty bright out here, so if you don't mind, I'm going to put my sunnies on. I brought you out here today to get you to focus on what you really, really want for your future. Not what somebody else wants, not what you think the family wants you to do, not what you think your spouse wants you to do, not what you would like for your children, what you would like for you. And it's about getting really involved with that vision. We often grow up thinking that we need to achieve things, we need to get places, we need to do certain things. And then we get to a stage in our lives where we go, well, what do I really want? You know, all these years, you might have raised a family, you might have been chasing the corporate dream, you might have been climbing the corporate ladder, you might have started your own business. Now it's time to get really emotional in what you really, really want. So I like to use my senses to get into that space of thinking of exactly what I really want. So while I'm standing out here with this beautiful ocean, with the surfers behind me and with the sand and with the beautiful sunshine and uh, my clothes bowing all over the show, that's absolutely fine. Let's think about our senses. What can you see? What can you hear? What can you smell? What can you taste? What can you touch? What are you feeling inside? Because your senses are hardwired to your conscious mind. So while we're out here, let's say that there's a particular beach that you'd like to come to. Perhaps you've never been to this very beach and you'd like to come here. So I'm going to help you imagine that you're right here with me. What can you see? You can see the beautiful blue sky. You can see the beautiful beach. You can see the surf. If you love to surf, this is a great place to surf. On other days, the waves are even better than they are today. What can you hear? I can hear the wind in my ears. I can hear the waves. I can hear the wonderful gratitude inside that I have. We've discussed gratitude on the previous series. It's really important to bring that in wherever you are. What can you feel? Bend down and pick up some, some sand and let it run through your fingers. What can you feel underneath your toes, underneath your feet? Is it sand that you're feeling or is it a cobbled paved driveway somewhere? What are you feeling? Are you feeling the inside of new leather shoes? Whatever appeals to you, that's what you focus on. It's not what about, about what I want, it's about what you want. So what can you feel? What can you smell? Is it freshly baked bread? Is it the fresh smell of the ocean? Is it a beautiful red wine that you might be smelling? Or is it something different? Is it a new perfume? Is it a new boardroom table that you've just purchased that has got a lovely wooden smell, that lovely oak or cedar smell? What can you smell? What can you taste? Are you holding beautiful red wine? Are you tasting some new food? What are you tasting? And most importantly at all, what are you feeling inside? What is going on inside that you're feeling this is just the best place that you could possibly be? Use all your senses and get really involved. So I'd like to encourage you, as soon as you've finished watching this video, to close your eyes and step right into that place that you'd like to be. Focus on yourself being happy and grateful for being there and include all your senses. Because when your subconscious mind really gets what you absolutely want, what you really want, not what somebody else wants, then you'll be amazed at what can happen. So think about those grains of sand that you'd like to imagine flowing through your fingers and get really into that place of things that you'd really, really want and watch the magic happen. And if you'd like to get your company team more aligned with your company goals, let's start off by working with them to figure out what their personal goals are. Because when you've figured out what their personal goals are, it's a lot easier to help them align to the company goals. It's also a lot easier to get their dreams out. And there might be something that they passionately want for their family that you could assist them with if they're part of your team. And when everybody knows what the other people's goals are, it's amazing how many people can help each other to get those goals. So think about what you'd really want from your future. And I'll see you on the next video. This is Jill Hutchison signing off from Scarborough Beach, Australia. And uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next one.